almost, we almost made it, right? I don't remember if this way is faster. Oh, it is faster, I remember now. Yeah, that is faster. Maybe it's not. We're probably too slow. Ten, nine, eight, six, five, four. All right, made it. So you can barely make it if you know exactly where you're going. And then every time you do that, you can just repeat it over and over again. And every time you do it, you get 20 talk tokens. Uh, we have 200 so far. Let me just get these done. What? Gun damage, please. Ah, damn. Okay, that's good. Gun damage, gun accuracy, gun damage, gun damage. That's probably the, the easiest way to to grind for tokens because you don't have to fight anyone, you don't have to do anything. Let's go get the other quests. Defeat the Horde of Horrors in the Appetite for Destruction. Alright, so there's more battles in the arena as well. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start. So there's three tiers and then the third tier you can rematch. For more, just you just keep grinding it indefinitely for more talk tokens. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for: the horde of horrors versus the vault hunter. Fight! Yeah, I'm just gonna let them fight each other. Oh, there's a time? There's a time limit? Make it stop! I think the time limit is a serious one. A critical hit. So very satisfying. I live for such kills.
Uh, the midget is the last one. Where is he? Three minutes left. Pretty close though, wasn't it? How much time do we have left by the end of that? There's still a round three, which, as you might imagine, is gonna be more difficult than round two. <laughs> we'll see if we can. <laughs> Survive round three as well. Healing overburdened by money. I'm sure we'll be doing this again soon enough. Don't sell that. Let me put a star on it. Go to the center of the arena when you're ready to start. All right, third tier. Four and a half minutes. Wait, is it the same enemies but less time, or is it stronger enemies? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The Horde of Horrors versus the Vault Hunter. Fight! Wait, why are they level fifty? They're level fifty-one. They're level fifty-one. They're level 51. What on earth is going on? Pretty sure we can't beat this. I'm not sure if that's an error or not. That guy's level f Wait. Okay, dude, I have a time to bit here. Get out of there. They were 49. Oh, wow, I'm not doing any damage. I'm not doing any damage to him. I don't remember this. I mean, we can come back here, but we're not gonna do it in this playthrough. But after the second playthrough, we can come back here. I guess. And fight these guys at level 50.
Yeah, no, we're gonna die. They're level 50. <laughs> They're level 50 enemies. That's weird. Don't think of your death as failure. Think of it as fun. Don't think of Hyperion's new use. Charges as war profiteering. Think of them as war fun. I can't do that at the moment. Let's go back outside. And there are more quests. But this one's just the same one, right? This is just the... Uh... Tier 3 destruction. And then that's the race. So the only one we can we want to do is number one fan with Tiny Tina. <clears throat> Level fifty enemies. That might be a mistake. Because the first playthrough is supposed to cap at level 30. And the second playthrough is meant to cap at level 50. And then the third playthrough is uncapped. But this is this is a level 50 cap on this one, on this quest. I think it's an error. But it's also an optional mission that we don't need to do right now. Having said that though, the, uh, the Slayer of Terramorphus the raid boss, Terramorphus, is at level 50, even in the first playthrough. So there's that. But then Hyperius is level 30. I don't know, there's inconsistencies. Hey yo, I got stuff I need done, boy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You know who just arrived at the beatdown? Sully the Stabber! He's my third favorite mass murderer in the entire world! You have to get his autograph for me! Get his signature on this, please. Please, 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 please. If I don't get his autograph, I'm gonna die! He's my favorite ass! He killed every living person on the Bathomus with nothing but a rusty butter knife! If you don't take it, I'm gonna start crying, please. Please, 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 please. Oh, baby, please, 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 baby, please. Yeah, please, 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 please. That was Please by Tiny Tina featuring the Vault Hunter on base. Oh my god, thank you so much! Sell so down the beat down. Just bring me his autograph and you will be my favorite person ever! Forever! Bring you Sully's autograph. Southern Raceway, the beat down. Monster Hunter. Huh. The Forge Pyro Pete's Bar. Badass crater. Oh, that's the clock. Oh, that's at level 50? Interesting. It says level 50. The forge. You know, let's go to... Oh, but Pete the Invincible is level 30. Pick a fight in a biker bar, tier 2 difficulty. Don't know if I should go to... Try Pyro Pete. Southern Raceway, the beatdown. Sure, let's go to the beatdown. <gasps> That's... Uh, I can't... I can drive through. Oh, hey, amazing. And back to the beatdown. There are a number of quests, including getting Sully's autograph.
total recall. A diseased midget fell into the Black Label Brewery a couple of weeks back, which means all our beer is poisoned as f and has to be recalled. Kill anyone holding a beer and bring back all the tainted bottles you can find. Huh. The beer? Oh, it's in Power Pizza Bar, alright. Hi, Scooter Man's talking at you. There's this slack sucking little bitch named uh, Hamhawk. Moxie told me he tried to cop a feel on her, so that son of a bitch has got to die. Now, I hired a few extra trigger men to deal with this rat tapping ass just in case, but I thought I'd get my old pal first dibs on him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You and I are besties, you know that. Hamhawk. Has been uh, keep not keeping his hands to himself, and now we're gonna kill him. Sure thing. Let me just check the other quest. All right, he's further away. Uh, log, and let's go do these. Also, I expect enemies to spawn. Maybe I should just run past these enemies. All right, let's just not care about these enemies. Maybe we care a little bit about the, the enemies. We, we we don't care about the enemies. <gasps> Track Hamhawk, kill Hamhawk. Is that a talk token? Oh, hey, he's dropped tokens. Did I just... Okay, that guy's not... Completely dead. Now he is. Random enemies... Wait, don't kill Hamhawk! <clears throat> I stretched the truth when I told Scooter he tried to cop a feel. Hamhawk's no angel, but I was drunk and honestly, what happened was pretty consensual. Like, four to five bases worth of consensual. So, here's what I propose. You take out the other hitmen Scooter hired and you let Hamhawk live. Sound good? Hey, why'd you kill him out yet? You know he used his brother Spine as a skip and rope, don't you? He went to the national championships with the damn thing. Besides, I rolled the hell out of you once he deep six him. Gosh damn! Uh, what? <laughs> Apparently, Moxie. Let's see. Borderlands, mother lover. Hamhawk, kill Hamhawk for Scooter or kill Gunman for Moxie. A grenade mod or a class mod? It uh, doesn't actually matter. Kill Gunman for Moxie, kill Hamhawk for Scooter. I'm gonna kill Hamhawk. <laughs> I don't care about him. <laughs> Number one fan. The guy's back here. All right, Sully. What's happening, Sully? Sully, now go ask for a grapple by guy. I'm so nervous. Hi, hi, Sully. Hi. Crazy outfit, dude. An autograph. <laughs> Piss off, chump. He said no. Well, there's only one thing to do. Look him in the eye. Not politely, and kill the living crap out of him! I just want an autograph, you big bully! Oh, yeah. Thanks for helping me with that, girl. That's why you my main squeeze. This is, uh, anyway, grab that little memento he dropped. I may not have gotten an autograph, but that thing's even better, you know what I'm saying? Come on, back, girl. Huey, have his head now. 